right guys, uh, hi guys, this is how my PC stands just now with the red LED fans. So that's been, what time did I start that? Probably about half one, it's four o'clock now. Two and a half hours to do this. Yeah, it looks, looks quite smart. I quite like the front, I quite like the white look. I've still got the spacers to go in. Um, so the screws I've got on now aren't as long. They were the these ones were far too long. And it was bottoming out, and it, so when I get the spacers, I can either cut these to length. I can do something, you know, so I can get this. This bezel is not very far away from. I'd like it further out from the 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 frame. It's acrylic. So there's more of an air gap for this these fans, you know. Because there's not much of an air gap for this fan at the top. Although well, it can get it'll get air in, it'll draw air in wherever it can find to. But I'd rather it was a good I don't know centimeter, no ten mil, I want it ten mil away from the, the bezel. There's the two white fans there. I think it's just changed the look. I'm going to put it back in its position and get right back to you. Um, I wanted to change the look of the PC and I think I have. I think it looks a little bit better. Let's start it up. So those two fans, those four fans were 20 pounds, what's that? What's 20 pounds in dollars? 30 dollars? Pleased with that model, just got the little spacers to get, to space that acrylic away because it's too close to the, to the bezel. Um, let me zoom in. You see how close it is to the bezel. I want it further out than that. Mm. But I quite like it. So thanks for watching guys, catch us later. Hi guys, while I'm waiting on the um the, the spacers to come I've used some uh, some bolts uh, uh, sorry some nuts I think that's six nuts in each side one, two, three, there's five on that side, and one, two, three, four, five. So look. Oh, how did that happen? I think I put five on one side and six on the other. Yeah, I have. Oh well. I've put these to show you what I've done. I've done wrong. Oops, sorry. I'll get to that bottom. Look, my strap a bit too tight. There we go. Focus. 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 Come on, baby, focus. Zoomed in too much, it ain't gonna focus. There we go. Let's see if I'll put the camera in. Yeah. Yeah, definitely six nuts in there. One, two, three, four, five, six, yep. And on the other side, there's only one, two, three, four, five. Never mind. I did that late last night, I wasn't happy um, with it so close that no having no gap there, that's too big a gap but the, the spaces that are coming are 19 mil in there that'll be probably 10, that'll probably be 30 mil out that you know, the, the, the space of the 6 knots will probably be 30 mil so well that's roughly what it's going to look like, it's going to be well out from the case because I don't want it, you know, I want the air to come in um, see that bottom fan's running kind of, I don't know how you would describe it, slower than the top one, the top one's a 3 pin on the PWM signal 
from the motherboard. Um, so even though it's three pin, this motherboard still controls it. The two side fans are on the Fovia splitter along with that bottom 140. But the Fovia splitter comes with um, the earth and the 12 volt power. So what I've done, and when you when they're on the 12 volt power, they don't have. Uh, I'm just going to pause this and change the battery. Right. What was I saying before? I was rudely interrupted by a flat battery. Okay. Um. Just try to plug the the battery, and I've got this little setup here. Uh. Yeah. It's an extension. A surf protected extension. And I just bought that thing up there. Um, cloning bay. Because I had the cloning bay here. In one of the, the slots, but of course I've done that, haven't I? Anyway, when you plug the PWM power in, you're plugging it on the 12 volt line. You know, I need the 12 volt power. And the yellow wire. So, so these fans, for some reason, they're not, they're not, it's overpowering the P PWM signal and they won't run them without the power. There's, because it's a splitter and you can put like eight fans on it or ten fans, you need to have power. But they run at full blast if they're on the yellow, yellow and black. So what I did was I turned the Molex round and put it on. Let me get my facts straight. I think it's the red. The red power, I think it's a 5 volt or 7 volt. Whatever voltage it is, it's a, lot, a lower voltage. You can see it's running a lot slower. I mean, if I plug the, these fans into 12 volt, they'd be really spinning. I mean, noisy, horrible. And they just stay at that RPM. Uh, I'll maybe do a separate video on that just to show you what I did. It's just simple, just turn the, turn the Molex on and plug it in. Um, you could take the wires out so that it's you know, key in right and there's no confusion later on. If anybody buys this off me then they'd be confused. Why is that the wrong way around? But it's nothing, nothing uh, critical is it? They just turn it around, plug it in the wrong way or the right way and get it on the, the 12 volt. And these will be really noisy. Um, but I did that, I fixed that up. So this is the kind of gap hole, not quite as big as that. The the space is a 19 mil. Um, just a quick update and I'll show you what it looks like. I quite like it. Something different for the scout. Thanks guys.